Hey, what's up? So I'm finally back to recording again. I haven't been recording in a while and I haven't uploaded anything because I guess I've just been lazy and um, I've been occupied with different things. So today I'm finally back with a uh, new tutorial and a new video. So I hope you guys enjoy this. But um, before I start, I just want to um, tell you guys that um, I've uh, started monetizing the, these videos that I make because, um, well, I we've hit, we've almost reached like a thousand subs, so I guess it's the perfect time to start monetizing them. I should have started it actually earlier because some of my videos have been getting a, a tons of views, so I'm really happy about that, and I just want to thank each and every one of you for supporting me and helping me in every way you can. So today I've got something pretty cool for you guys. Um, if you play the game Dishonored, um, the new one came out as well, but I think they both have the build disability. So if you played the game Dishonored, there's this blink ability where when you uh, when you point your mouse cursor to somewhere, and if it's in range and you click like the button to like um, teleport there, you teleport there. So I've recreated that um, in a very simplistic way in Unity. It's pretty simple, and today I'm gonna um, show you how you can do this. So, it's pretty cool for puzzle games. You can like jump around. Um, you can do it as much as times you want because I haven't implemented any um, type lo type of like stamina or um, I think it's magicka or I don't know how they call it in um, in the Dishonored games. But um, I might make a part two um, showing you guys how, for example, you can implement actual stamina or magic or whatever you want to use so if you have enough magic you can use the ability if you don't you're gonna have to like refill by like picking up a potion or something so um it's it's actually pretty simple to do as well but i'm not gonna do it in this video but if it gets enough support and people telling that they want to see it i guess i'll make it because um it's pretty simple and uh it's a fun thing to do so um, until Microsoft Studio all right gets up so here we go so the dishonored spell so I'm just gonna go over it quick so basically you have this private raycast hit um, I've used raycasts for this because I thought it was the simplest way I know raycasts aren't that simple but um, the, it's pretty easy to understand so audio clip this is just the audio clip that gets played when you teleport and the range, um, it's set to a thousand here, but I've ex I experimented and put it to twenty because I think it suits everything that um, I need. I guess you can change that up and experiment by yourself. And so this is the this is a private game object that we, um, I guess we um, uh, make uh, using the raycast. You're gonna understand in a second. So basically, we have this origin, which is the origin position that our characters uh, placed at. And a vector three direction that gets the the uh, the camera main dot transform forward. So it's um, the vector three of this direction is in front of our camera, and that's what we need in order to like point at an area that we want to teleport to. So this just calls a raycast hit. Um, if physics raycast origin. So basically, uh, it shoots a ray from the origin to the direct uh, at the, the direction, I guess. Uh, the camera main dot transform dot forward, so it shoots it there. Out last ray cast hit, so it gives us a um, it gives us a last ray cast hit. So it gives us the position of the um, of the thing where the ray cast hits. So basically, it fires the ray from the origin to the direction, and in the direction in this range that we specified over here. So we can't just teleport to the end of the map. And um, it gives us out the position that we, the ray that we've created hit. So it hits the position and we take the uh, hit, last ray cast hit uh, collider. So we hit and take its collider and that game object. So this, um, the way why we use this is because we can access the collider and actually teleport to it plus a bit more. Because if we teleport, if um, we teleport at the exact same spot where the ray hit, we're probably gonna get stuck in the object, and it's it's we're gonna, we're gonna clip through it. So we want to teleport to it, but a bit like away from it. So if it doesn't hit anything, it just returns null. So now private void. Um, this is just a function that I created. So transform dot position is lit, and so the transform dot position is the last raycast hit dot point. So the point of it, um, 
the impact point in world space where the ray hit the collider so basically this is for the ray so the ray uh, so this is the position that the ray hit the collider plus last hit uh, last ray cast hit dot normal so basically it's normal so the surface that the ray hit so basically you have the collider and the model itself the fbx the surface that it hit so we multiply the normal by 1.5 so it doesn't uh, like spawn us inside or we don't clip the object so if the audio clip is null this just plays a little clip um, we specified over here and basically in the update it checks if we uh, clicked the keycode.q so we don't have to do anything in inspector it just uh, q by default you can change this to your for for example mouse button or whatever um, if so if get looked at object at is uh, null so we teleport to look at so if we don't have an object it uh, teleports uh, us to it like does this function and um, we get a new object and teleport and then it's reset again so basically that's the whole script it's pretty simple to set up you just get your first person controller over here uh, it's the first person controller that uh, you get with the unity standard assets you place the script over here you put the range over here, and um, yeah, I guess it's pretty simple. So I'll just show you how the chain, uh, the range works. So basically, if the range is like a uh, hundred or let's say a thousand, we can teleport like, for example, all the way over here, um, and we can teleport back. So, but if the range is like five, I'm not sure if we're gonna be able. Yeah, we're not able to teleport over there. But if we get closer, still not. How about we jump? still not so for example the 5 is a bit too low but I suggest like 15 20 if you don't want to be able to like teleport through the whole map 15 20 is pretty neat it gets the job done I um, missed targeted so that's pretty much it so thank you guys for all the support that you've been giving me and leaving me the comments how good the videos are how much they're helping you and uh, all the errors that you're leaving I highly recommend you guys check the script and see if you maybe copied it bad or um, if you if you haven't assigned the things the way they're supposed to be in my videos because if it works for me it should work for you plus you're downloading the script off of github which is the exact same script that I'm using so it should work if it works for me and uh, yeah that's that's it I guess and um, I'll see you guys in, a new, in another video thank you for watching and bye